to our live Team 3 coverage continues with Robin McIntosh at Falls Township Police Hood Headquarters with more now about that suspect. Robin. Well, Larry, Falls Township Police, along with police departments across Bucks County, are in mourning for the slain officer. This is the community where the accused gunman, Robert Anthony Floor, grew up. Police here knew him either as a man in trouble or a man causing trouble. He lived just a few miles from here, right off Bristol Pike. Yeah. The cops were f***ing here a hundred times to help him, and they never did nothing. Robert Flores' family member stood outside the Falls Township home where he grew up, unhappy with the media, but carried news reports that Robert Anthony Floor had been charged with shooting a Newtown Borough police officer to death. I'm completely shocked that someone has lost their lives. I feel horrible for the family. I can't even imagine what they're going through right now. Christine Krasulik has lived since May next door to Robert Floor's apartment, the one he rented on the second floor off Bedminster Road. There, she says, he screamed at and beat his girlfriend and mother of his two-year-old daughter. He openly admitted it. He said he had rage issues, jealous rage issues when it came to Patty and just didn't know how to control himself. Krasulik says Floor admitted to being a crack cocaine user who only moved to rural Bedminster to start his life over. And he's like, you know, I'm trying to make a new beginning by coming up here to the country and I'm trying to get away from my, you know, drug habits and everything, but uh, obviously it didn't work. Now, Robert Flores' criminal record goes back some 20 years. He's been arrested and accused of serious crimes, everything from aggravated assault to attempted murder. But tonight he remains behind bars, and if convicted of killing this police officer, he could face the death penalty. We're live in Falls Township. I'm Robert McIntosh, CBS 3, Eyewitness News.